Her coffee group today is talking about sensible parenting. Just feeling that you're able to relax and confidently raise your children. It's, it's not all that easy, actually. Joining us is author Robin Pierce and parenting advisor Jenny Howe. Good morning to you both. Good Hello, morning. Now. now, Robin, you've raised six children by yourself. Um, you must have had some excellent strategies for coping. Uh, well, and it wasn't totally by myself, but anyway, that's another piece of it. But strategies for coping, absolutely. I spent years feeling as if I was living in a state of chaos, but one really useful tip that I learnt from my doctor when the children were all little and I seemed to be everlastingly pregnant or breastfeeding was go and get a schoolgirl for the hell hour. And I'm going, oh, that sounds interesting, what do you mean? I ended up getting a young lass call, um, who lived down the road from me and she would come in for one hour after school and just do anything I wanted. So it might be um, bring the washing in, it might be put the washing out because I hadn't quite got there all day or whatever. You know, that six was... kids, you would have had a lot of washing in. <laughs> yeah, I did like, Put six loads out, bring and, six loads in. And, oh, and the rest. And no automatic washing machine in those days either. <laughs> so. yeah. Oh, wow. I, don't, I can't even begin to imagine that. I have enough trouble just getting it all in and out with three children. Uh, so obviously some great coping strategies there. Get someone in if you can to come and help you yeah, out a little and bit. And there's many more. Relax. Don't be, don't be too uptight about the dust and all those kinds of things. Uh, You've got to stop worrying about the dust. <laughs> Jenny, what do you think's wrong with most modern families or the way we're parenting in modern families? Um, I think we're getting a lot of advice and we're not staying on anything in particular, so we dabble and children do research on us and realise that we're switching and changing and not being certain mm. enough on anything. So I get parents just to stay put, perhaps ignore some of the advice and, um, yeah, I think parents aren't working together. If two parents, are, if you're if you're parenting in the same home or even if you're not, I think parents can support one another in, a, in an amazing way um, that really gives children security. A united well. front, that's a very yeah. important parenting tip, yeah. isn't it? When you say the children are researching us, what do you mean by that? Um, <laughs> it sounds they, slightly terrifying. Yeah, <laughs> it does well, sound interesting. <laughs> when my kids were younger, they'd say to me, if I was reading a book or I'd been to a workshop, they said, um, Mum, have you just been to a workshop? Have you, are you reading a new book? Because they knew I sounded different. And and they also, children are watching you to see if you're going to stick with something and follow through. And sometimes they just realise in their research, they realise you're, you're actually shifting. You're not really going to follow through. And they're just doing what children do. They're canny, aren't they? Yeah, they're working they're you very out. canny. Uh, so, Robin, you've written this book, uh, Parenting Time. Uh, it's a yes. common sense getting, lessons. A, getting a grip on parenting time. So time. what inspired you to, to write this? Well, in my work as a time management specialist, I'm, I'm working in a corporate market and there are um, heaps and heaps of parents these days, of course, that are working and endeavouring to raise a family. So it was, uh, it started out just to throw in a few of my little articles together that I'd done over the years and then suddenly there were 20,000, so well, I just kept on going and... 20,000? 20, 20,000 words, not parents, <laughs> not children! Saying, oh not goodness. children! No, 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 you have been perceived. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, 20,000 words and it suddenly, it suddenly it became a, a proper book. So here we are. Now Jenny, what are some of the best take home points that you've found from Robin's book? I love the theme that um, runs through the book, which is really getting kids outside, getting them into parks and forests, getting them to walk instead of going in the car yes. all the time. So there's, there's that sense of we've got to actually balance our life a little bit better. Getting kids to help. Oh, I know yes. that's not easy, but actually you're upskilling them when you get them to do chores and contribute mm -hmm. in families. And there's a really great one there about getting up in the morning because lots of, lots of my families will say, I don't know how to get out the door without screaming at the Kids. Mm. So just simple things like getting yeah. up earlier, a little bit, you know, ten oh, minutes. Too early. obvious. Yeah, so getting up early. Doing things the night before as well. So yeah. get, getting getting the lunches made and in the fridge or in the freezer. Mm. Yeah. Shoes ready. Yes. So it's basic common yeah. sense stuff, isn't it? A lot it? of it. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's yeah. not sort of um, rocket science. We can figure this out. We just need to apply it. Yeah. It's designed to make parenting easier, not harder, but it means you've got to put in a little bit of hard work to begin with. It's Preparation is a key thing. Um, my lovely daughter-in-law, Lauren Parsons, has written a fabulous book called Real Food, Less Fuss. Yes, she has. She's You've lovely. interviewed her, haven't you? And um, she's got a little saying, make your freezer your friend, and if you do that, you can be cooking only twice a week. That's absolutely right, and get a very, very big freezer. So do you think parents <laughs> are overthinking things a little bit too much these days? Look, many do, I think, Mel. Um, it's a hard job. Uh, and I, I would just be encouraging parents to relax into it and don't worry about the things that don't really matter. Just but the kids don't actually want more toys. They want 
time with their parents mm. and it's okay to let them be bored occasionally they need to learn some resilience about not having to be entertained every five seconds absolutely and enjoy them because I know it sounds like a cliche but they were only little for a oh, small time believe me all, all those quick, grandchildren and my children growing up I know that one how many grandchildren you have 17 don't 17 you? grandchildren 17 <laughs> grandchildren so Debbie uh, so not Debbie Jenny what's a final tip from you for parenting advice um yeah I just think that the relaxing is really important and put in some hard work so it makes it easier I think you've got to be intentional, do the stuff that you need to do and then relax. Wonderful. Robin, Jenny, thank you so much for joining us Thanks, today. Thank you. And don't forget to check out Nellie's all natural laundry soda at nellies.co.nz.